Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Today you see the title, you see the thumbnail. I'm pretty sure that's why you clicked on this video. I will be doing a reading on the future of bricks and not bricks as in the ones that build your house. Bricks is actually made up of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Korea. Oh, sorry. South Africa is the five that make up this uh, currency to kind of like boister lift their money systems because all of these have kind of like come out of uh economic hardship where their money aren't where their gdp or their their national coinage and things like that has not been the best and this is a way for them to kind of form some new war order or at least that's what people say they are also doing this as a form of retaliation against the western dollar so the u.s dollar and they're made up, uh, so I, this is something I didn't know. These are the five, um, they're among the top 10 largest countries for population and area. So they are doing this to kind of combat the whole narrative that the U.S. dollar and the, I guess you can say pounds, the British pound, is kind of the most valuable spin expenditures i don't know i don't know how to say it but the most valuable form of money and they kind of got together to be combat that narrative and they did form shortly during shortly before or during the whole world's health scare <laughs> i don't know if i can still say that now so they are you know calling themselves bricks <laughs> Um, it was originally brick, but now it's bricks because of South Africa. And um, allegedly Argentina and Iran are also trying to be included into the system. But we'll see because how they're going to rename that Brax, Brax and Brains, who oh, no, know, Brickus, Brackus. But whatever the case may be, this is the, the agency, this form, this new developed bank that they formed in order to kind of like kick off their independent nation's financial aspects. So I want to see what is going to be the future of BRICS because everyone is saying, especially amongst this whole conversation that the um, yen, is that what China uses? That yen is going to overtake the U.S. dollar very soon. But then you also hear people say that can never happen. Like there's, it's just too much that China would have to do in order to catch up. Some people also believe that India is going to be a new superpower because of all the economic development that there, that is going on there. People are even dubbing them like the new China because so much is being manufactured in May in India. And because their general population has um, kind of like kept up with the growth that they're doing where a lot of uh, first world countries, and yes, I have to include America in this, even though we all think it's a third world country. But, um, you know, a lot of first world countries um, have grown stagnant where it comes to the, what is the death birth, the, the birth rate? Yes, birth rate. That's what I wanted to say. You know, we've grown stagnant, if not down. A lot of people are looking like, oh, you know, America, places like America, South Korea, um, Britain. Um, what's another one? We're like the the amount of births that we have in a year isn't keeping up with the development. And a lot of us see is going down the spiral on the road that Japan is currently tumbling down with so many people with their aging population and so many people leaving there because of work and etc. So let's see what is going to be the future. Not, not the queen of swords already. What is going to be the future of bricks? What is going to be the future? economic coin what is going to be the future of the BRICS economy so first things first I think once they stop feel like they have to fight amongst each other they'll have some harmony they they probably could see some things get done if they truly are going to do this to take down 
you know, if they stay united and taking down the West, I think that you can actually see some sh happen. But I think some people are getting corrupted. Are being, their resolve is being touched. Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So this to me just speaks to a lot of uh, individualism, a lot of individual behavior. You know, I'm going to do what's right for my people. And now was for the betterment of this group that we formed. But then we also have the Nine of Cups here where it's kind of like you could enjoy it. Things could really happen, but we all have to stay focused and on one accord in order for this to succeed. And then we also have um, the Knight of Swords. So they may be rushing into some things, trying to make things happen. Because especially like with this whole uh, Russian-Ukraine war going on, I wonder if uh, some of the finances and things like that, they kind of rushed to form this to happen. And, you know, or Putin thought he had all of, you know, allegedly, allegedly, Putin probably thought he had all this stuff lined up and together. And come to find out, you know, he kind of jumped the gun a little bit thinking that, all these other people is going to be behind him and have his, you know, be his allies. And they might just pick on his carcass afterwards. But then we also have the king of coins in reverse as well. So that's not a good sight that we have the king of coins finishing everything off. And with the queen of swords here at the beginning, individuality. Oh, you know, we're going through a good time. Things are looking good. Somebody jumped the gun and it's going to cause this whole thing. It's going to blow the top off this whole thing. And it's not going to actually take root like we need. Can I get one more explanatory car on the future of Briggs? What is going to be the outcome, the future of Briggs? I wouldn't be surprised if it's somebody that's a part of this um, group, this gathering, that is actually a liar. Knight of Coins. Somebody in here that's saying they for the, they down for the cause, but they really just double agent type thing. And then here we go with the Knight of Coins. That sort of finishes on. So King, first of all, had the King of Coins in reverse. So I guess until they learn control, they learn how to actually partner with one another they don't feel like they have to be in this individualist individualist mindset they might have some things going but they again here goes that night again every time they get things going somebody jumped the gun rushing and feel like they have to prove something and the underlying energy what i say i feel like they're not trusting each other are you really helping me or are you fighting against me because some of the things you do must say seems like you're fighting against me this is what happens when you have too many superpowers in one room. Like, all of you are fighting to be king. Your love is king. And that's all I can sing before I get demonetized. Okay, Ness kind of wanted to flip over as soon as I picked this up. Mm. What is going to be the future of the BRICS economy? What is going to be the future? So that goes well for them. Surely, slowly but surely getting ahead. Honor and respect will come to you. I think it's just going to take some time. They can't rush, out, rush it. Lighthearted and carefree. That feels like the attitude people have towards them right now. Like they're not probably taking them serious in some ways. You will be playing a different role. So maybe bricks will transform into something else in the future. We also have mm, January, huh? Good fortune. January, December. Something's happening. We also have happiness, forces working against you. Obviously, forces are working against them. Keep your life in balance. We also have the feathers. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Remember, I was speaking to that earlier with this uh, Nine of Cups card. Somebody is um, playing both sides of the field. Waiting to see who's going to win out. 
bird perched perched is waiting for news package or letter and then we also have hand in need of help assistance and guidance so all of this definitely ma definitely makes sense when it comes to uh bricks it is still a newly formed i guess you could say um banking it's, I guess the best word I can use to describe it, it is the new form of currency. So, yeah, there is a lot of kinks and things like that that they have to iron out. And of course you have external forces working to kind of like upend them. And then you have some um, governments that's probably like, or agencies allegedly that are not taking them seriously. They're like, okay. And but maybe they in the future they will find themselves forming into something more substantial. This one first. Hey, these doors of riches, uh, which is so fitting. Equanimity, wisdom, inevitability. Leopard King, yes, they will need a sense of bravery and uh, self-discipline and faith in making this work and making sure it happens and trusting in one another. Um, and now it's kind of like being underhanded, but... You know, that's if they don't get greedy. And then we also have a matriarch, mother of homestead, rejection, opportunities, and consequences. And to me, this just brings forth the whole feeling of them. They're doing it for their home, for their people. Um, but of course, you know, with all good opportunities and things like that, there are also some consequences for those actions. Then you have the prince, the forgotten adversary. Somebody is not taking kindly to this whole endeavor. And I'm inclined to believe is the current superpowers. You know, places like, I don't know, can we count France right now? <laughs> US, um, the UK, you know, I think there is some, what you doing? And some tells me the the thing that has brought a lot of the ire and a lot of the trouble is uh, because of South America, uh, South Africa, sorry. And it could also be the whole thing, you know, America is not taking kindly to um, places like Brazil being a part of it because you're right here in our backyard. And if you are in bed with two of our biggest competitors, you're, you're in bed with Russia and China. I don't trust you, bro. What you doing? I'm watching you. All in all, the future of BRICS, I think... Um, yeah, it, it just seems like it's going to go on a roller coaster. There's some ups, at least currently in this energy, there is some ups and downs. There is uh, a struggle for control or power um, amongst the five countries that have joined into this. I think right now they are playing, um, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend until, you know, my friend starts to become my enemy because now I got to turn on you and absorb what you got kind of thing. So... I think they're, yeah, they're drawing their hands right now to kind of take down one thing, but then they're going to turn around and be fighting amongst each other on who going to come out on top. That's what it feels like to me. And if it doesn't happen naturally, one of these big superpowers or countries is going to manufacture it to happen. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's something that falls through, like maybe Russia gets replaced or something like that, because we have December, January, like some kind of news later on this year, early next year, um, or maybe late next year, sometime, whatever, you know, something comes up where it's like, hmm, you're actually, you're, you're making the spot high and we got to kick you out. Like, you're not worth the trouble. Mm. 
Okay, so I'm gonna cut this reading out here. I think I am super hungry and can't concentrate anymore. I may end up redoing this and adding to it, but for right now, that's what I'm getting you all. I'm so sorry that this is a bad reading. It's just, I feel like I can't concentrate anymore. I'm so hungry. Um, so with that, thank you all for coming in and tuning in for enjoying the vibes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, hit that notification bell so you can see the next time I upload. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.